is called the prophet of God the Father. Read on. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. Read on. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people. What that mean? He's going to show the people how to be saved. There's a way to salvation. And he was given that knowledge on how to be saved. Everybody got their time. John had a day where he had to come out and be seen. The whole nation of Israel to see that this is the prophet of God the Father. And when he came out, the Lord made sure everybody came out. They all went to where John was at. Even the Pharisees came up there trying to get out of there. He cut the hell out of them. Everybody understand that? So the bottom line is, Listen, the, the, the future of the nation of Israel and our destiny is great. So what does God want us to do? He wants us to do what? And walk not according to the lust of the flesh. We're in the flesh, but we're not supposed to be in the flesh. Okay, let me give it to you in, in another sentence. We're in the world, but we're not supposed to be in the world. So you could be, yeah. <laughs> I like it. You're supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to understand that just because you're in it, you don't really have to be in it. Yeah, we're in the world, but do we gotta fit in? Are we supposed to be trying to fit in? Huh? Are we supposed to be trying to do what the world is doing? So yeah, we we in the flesh. Of course, Christ was in the flesh. Everybody's in the flesh. But are we supposed to be doing what everybody else is doing in the flesh? Nah. What What are we supposed to be doing? What they doing in the spirit? This is the law, and this is the prayer that God has taught us to pray. God's will be done as it is in heaven, right? Right? Thy will be done as it is in heaven. Let it be done on earth. What's going on in heaven? In heaven, there's a whole family up there, our brothers and sisters. And every last one of them do what God said they're supposed to be doing. Now, this is what God want done on earth. The same order that's in heaven, the same obedience that's in heaven, he's looking for that obedience from the Israelites on this earth. Everybody understand that? Only way that's supposed to be happening is we got to get like they are in heaven. How are they in heaven? They're in spirit. Everybody understand that? So you got to be in spirit. When you're in spirit, you constantly, listen, the Bible tells you that Christ told us himself that God the Father is still surprising him. So he said, this is so you can marvel. The God the Father is still telling him stuff. And Christ has been there with him from the beginning. From his beginning, okay? He constitutes the beginning. And God the Father is still surprising him with stuff. Did everybody understand that? Don't you know when you're in spirit, you can open up this Bible and, and, and just get so many revelations on things that, 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 you know, it's just so much in here. This is the word of God. Do everybody understand what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm scared to go in this book. I, I, that's the truth. That is the honest truth. Sometimes I do not want to open up the Bible because I'm constantly being shown some things and I have a list of stuff that I haven't gotten to yet. So I'm behind schedule. <laughs> so it's more when I open it up and see something, here we go again. And I'm going to tell you something. Let me, say, let me try to make you understand. It's not easy. Some of you think it's easy. It's not easy. Some stuff is hard to explain. It's very hard to explain. And my job is to try to find a way to explain it that is going to be understood by the majority of the congregation. One of them things I had a problem with um, was the two greatest commandment weekend. I had that for a, a, a minute before I actually called that, that, uh, that engagement because I was trying to figure out how am I going to be able to convey the message to the nation of Israel that they're hurting God. How am I going to make them under or, or try to convey this message in a way that they can understand? So it ain't easy. Everybody understand what I'm saying? So sometimes when, 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 when you know, I want to go and get some, even when I'm going along with things that we, we, we go on in the Sabbath, I, I don't want to actually, if you look at me, I don't really open up my Bible too much. I don't even really open it up when I'm trying to go along with whatever I'm teaching at the moment because the minute I open it up, here goes something else. Now, I say all this to say what? How can you be bored? with? I know I don't get bored. How can you be bored with the truth, with Christ, with the knowledge? How can you get bored? It's impossible unless you're not interested. You get bored with things that you're not interested in. 
Everybody understand what I'm saying? Things that interest you is going to what? It's going to captivate you. It's going to keep you. It's going to draw you in. When you're not interested, then you're not going to really be paying that much attention to it. Now, that goes back into are you doing what the Lord said that you're supposed to be doing? Where's your treasure at? What, values, what is valuable to you the most? What do you value the most? The scripture says where your treasure is. Thank you. There would your heart be also. Your mind is going to be on what's most valuable to you. Now, the mind is something that is, is, is a great work of creation. There's a lot that goes on in that mind. You have to control it. The scriptures tell us that we can bring thoughts into captivity. Some people do. <laughs> but, okay, calm down. You ain't counsel, okay? You, know, you ain't come here to cry. You can't even tell us what's wrong. Oh, my thoughts, my thoughts. But you can, you can control those thoughts. And you can bring it into captivity. That's what the Bible says. Something that ain't right, you take it and you put it in prison. Lock it up. When something is locked up, locked up, that means what? It ain't free to roam around. Everybody understand that? Everybody got that, right? Let's go to the book of Joshua chapter 1. So what we're talking about again is, is, is being righteous before God. And that is success in anything in life. And whatever you want to, and whatever you endeavor to do in life, the way to be successful in it is by being righteous before God. Let's look at this. Let me show you what God said to when he chooses, when he chooses a when he chooses a man, when he chooses a woman, when he say, You my chosen, and I have called you, what's, what's the outcome of that? Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. Read that. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee. Read that one more time. There shall not any, there shall not any man. Be able to stand before thee. Read it again. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee. Yeah, nobody ain't going to be able to stand before you. Anybody be stand away from you. and, and but Not in front of you. Because if they stand in front of you as when God has chosen you and they're trying to oppose you, they're going to be destroyed easily. And everybody know that. Satan don't stand. He don't stand directly in front of Christ. Everybody understand that? Because he know that's ultimate destruction right there. So when God chooses you, automatically nobody can deal with you as far as opposing you, trying to stop you, trying to gangsay you. Another part of the Bible in the book of Luke, what did God say? I will give you a mouth and wisdom, right? Which none of your adversaries shall be able to do what? Gainsay nor what? Resist. Nor resist it. Read on. Thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses. There shall not be any, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Read on. As I was with Moses. Read on. So I will be with thee. Yeah, now how was God with Moses, brother? Come on, y'all. How was God with Moses? How was God with Moses? Nah, nah, I ain't talking about the friendship. How was God with Moses? He allowed Moses to, 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 to play him on earth. Moses played God. That came out of the mouth of God. You will be to Pharaoh a God, and Aaron will be your prophet. In other words, whatever you say, I'm going to make sure it happens. See, God, when he says something, it happens. So whatever you say is going to go down exactly the way you said it. You said it. Everybody understand it, right? Read on. I will not fail thee. I will not what? Fail thee. I will not what? Fail thee. I will not what? Fail thee. Meaning you know, it's going to happen. It's going to go down. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to be with your mouth. Whatever you say is going to happen. Read on. Nor forsake thee. Come on. Be strong. Read it one more time. Be strong. Read it again. Be strong. Read on. And of good courage. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be uh, not confident. You ain't supposed to be scared, feeble-minded. You're supposed to know God is with you. Read on. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land. Come on. Which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Read on. Only be thou strong Come on. and very courageous. So what does it take to do the work of an Israelite, everybody? Got to be strong and courageous. What does it take to do the work of an Israelite, everybody? Got to be strong and courageous. Strength and courage. John the Baptist is called the prophet of God the Father. Read on. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. Read on. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people. What that means, he's going to show the people how to be saved. There's a way to salvation. And he was given that knowledge on how to be saved. 
Everybody got their time. John had a day where he had to come out and be seen. The whole nation of Israel to see that this is the prophet of God the Father. And when he came out, the Lord made sure everybody came out. They all went to where John was at. Even the Pharisees came up there trying to get out of there. He cut the hell out of them. Everybody understand that? So the bottom line is, listen, the, the, the future of the nation of Israel and our destiny is great.